The only body feint you need to learn in football is the Messi shoulder drop. Many defenders have been beaten by Messi with this rather simple but deadly body feint. Now let's find out why Messi shoulder drop is so effective. Level 1. Basic technique. Start by dropping your shoulder in the opposite direction you want to move. Follow up with a fake step in the same direction as you drop your shoulder. This will make the defender step in. Now continue with pretending like you're going to drag the ball in the same direction. The closer you can get your foot alongside the ball, the more realistic it will seem for your opponent. This will engage the defender even more in your feint. And as soon as your foot is behind the ball, push off and move in the other direction. Level 2. Timing. Timing is crucial and will be different in each situation. In this example, the defender is coming in from the right at full speed. This is why Messi has to start his feint earlier to make sure the defender does not come too close. The distance should be a bit more than one step, causing the defender to stay out of reach, but just close enough that he thinks he can conquer the ball and try to step in. Messi also keeps his eyes closely on his opponent. This gives him the information if the defender responds as expected to the body feint. Only then he will change directions as planned. Change of direction should be into space. Level 3. Be explosive. Feint step must be very explosive. Firstly, to give your opponent the idea he has to react immediately. Secondly, the explosive feint step also gives you a firm grip in preparation for your change of directions. The change of direction should also be as explosive as possible, so the defender has less time to adjust can't catch up with you. Level 4. Persuasion. Some people compare Messi with a magician. They actually have a point. But Messi makes you believe in his feints. Messi's shoulder drop feints are executed so fast and with so much persuasion, his whole body and his whole mind participate in the feint. It's almost as if he believes it himself. And that makes it very hard to see if his moves are feint or real. This combination of four elements makes Messi's shoulder drops extremely hard to defend. For the first drill, you only have to focus on the shoulder drop, explosive feint step and acceleration while changing directions. Repeat this until you master the movement. In the second drill we focus on timing by using one or two cones. In this example we use two cones and play like we're going to nutmeg the opponent. Focus on your timing to keep enough distance between you and the defender. The distance should be a bit more than one step, so that the defender can't get his foot against the ball. The third drill is all about practicing the shoulder drop with resistance in 1v1s. Call some friends and enjoy refining the shoulder drop together in real situations. Focus on all four elements. This is a fun way to practice, which we highly recommend to prepare for real games. Thank you for sticking with us, and if you like our football tutorials, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That would really help us out and encourages us to create more valuable content. Now get ready for our bonus tip about Messi's shoulder drop. Messi does not only use the shoulder drop to get past the defender right away, but also uses it to lead in another skill to beat opponents. For example, Messi combines the shoulder drop with La Croqueta, a chop or during a zigzag dribble. Depending on the reaction of his opponent, Messi always keeps his options open. If the defender steps in, he will change directions. If the defender does not step in, he can come up with another solution. Now that you know everything about the shoulder drop, you also need to watch this video and learn how to use the shoulder drop in the zigzag dribble.